And there are so many other people to thank. I want to mention one thing that's happening to show you the spirit of snow golf. A group of foursomes that did a fantastic job on their costumes spearheaded by the beautiful yellow birds or canaries what were you people they what, what were you oh what kind of dirty bird dirty bird they have been in touch with the hospital and the supervisor of the hospital tomorrow afternoon at four o'clock they're going up in their attire to show the kids that are in the hospital. We're making arrangements to get the Aurora handicapped kids up there, too, to see the costumes. Ronald McDonald has consented to go, and they all cordially invite anybody that has gone to a big effort to do costumes to come with them to the hospital tomorrow afternoon. I know the kids would appreciate it. So any group that would be interested will have a list of, of names uh, at the registration desk tomorrow. Or individuals, it doesn't have to be groups. If you've got a costume you'd like the kids to see, and I know they would appreciate it, and let us know. We'll make arrangements to all head down together. That's super. Thank you all. Um, I must apologize. Uh, we were going to have some uh, important entertainment tonight, but um, unfortunately, this guy... Uh-oh. Hey. Are you locked? Oh, you want to go to the hospital tomorrow? Uh, what's up, Jack? Hello, you son of a gun. How you was? I'm fine. How are you? My name is Nestor Pistor. I'm from Wagruville, Alberta, you know. Can I have that again? Wagruville, Alberta. Nestor Pistor. Good Ukrainian guy, me. Well, that's right next to Elephant's yeah. Breath, Saskatchewan, yeah, right? That's right. right. Sure. You know Ukrainian? Yeah, yeah. You know Yakshumayr, Zduzhi Dobra? You know how to get out of Get out of here. I want to talk to these nice people. Oh, Jesus, you eat too much pierogi today. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. That's come from the hill, you know. Mm. You know, I have trouble getting here today, son of a gun. We got terrible accident in Wagerville. They dropped atomic bomb on us today. That one dollar thirty-three cents worth damage, son of a bitch, you know. <laughs> and my family, they're crazy like you never seen before. I got one brother, he got killed in pie eating contest. Cow was stepped to the back of his head, son of a gun. <laughs> shoot it, baby, shoot it. Oh, another one of my brother, he's got so drunk from that snow golf today, he's got hanging over like you've never seen before. <laughs> he was taking a drink of milk and the cow fell on top of him and killed the son of a bitch. <laughs> what the hell are you looking for, pennies? I think you should go back to Vagreville. Vagreville? Listen, you like that stomach? That's for me. Lots of pierogi. Give it a little kiss, son of a gun, you know? We better go throw the bottles. We're sure we're going to throw it. Throw them everywhere in trash machine and make everything hunky-dory. That's that small Ukrainian boat, hunky-dory. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're doing over there, but did you wipe yourself? Let me check. You know, his mother sent him telegram. He said, you're in big city, Prince George. Remember, Peter, when you're in big town, remember what to do. Your high-class hotel. When you put your shorts on in the morning, remember, the brown spot goes to the back, you son of a gun. Can I have a dragon? Sure, drag all you want. What the hell? But you're not going to be a comedian. <laughs> That's okay, Rose would sing. I will tell you about my, my wife. She's got to me all the time, son of a gun, every morning. She say, Nestor, I got such bad heartburn. Nestor, my heart's burning like you've never seen before. So I put down Ukrainian newspaper and I look over and her left cheek guy in the coffee cup. <laughs> she say, Nestor, I got terrible news for you. I'm pregnant again. I say, son, Magan, we already got 14 kids. Why you don't take birth control pill? She says, they no good to me. I say, why not? She says, because every time I stand up, they fall out. <laughs> son, Magan.
I got another crazy brother. He's got to get job in big city. He's got job to be a photographer. But he got fired, son of a gun. Instead of using Polaroid, he used hemorrhoid and he got fired for taking shitty picture. <laughs> I've seen nothing like that, you know. <laughs> See, I need to drink beer, son of a gun. That's hell of a beer, Labats, eh? I'm gonna take two of them, what the hell? Sure, thank you very much. I was go to Toronto, you know, they got nice advertising. Those fingers to Labats and then the shit house and everything. <laughs> but it's nice to be here. I was just, hey, listen, you got nice looking cheeks over here. Let me tell you, boy, they got nice boobber. Yeah, give them hand, yeah. I come, you know, I go to the Ukraine, I sent Airmail Express to get new sex pill, you know, make you potency. <laughs> but they don't got complete yet. Only trouble with those damn things, you got to swallow them real fast or you get a stiff neck. <laughs> Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> oh, here come trouble again, son of a gun. Yeah, sure, I work for PCR, that's for sure. PCR. And you know, you people got beautiful golf over here. I remember one time, one my friend, his big doctor in New York City. His big doctor, like you never seen before. His dental surgeon, his bullet teeth, you know. Now he's got up this one morning. He's got to go to give kids checks up for toots and he's get from his bed and he sleep on roller skate and he's damn near broke his foot he's go to washroom put on shower is cold he shave himself cut himself 15 18 different place he's got toilet paper all over his face son of a gun he's go downstairs his wife she burned the eggs the toast coffee is cold juice got pits in him then he's getting his car, he's got blowout on the freeway. Then he's going to dentist office, 15,000 kids scream and holler to him all the time. He said, the hell with this, I'm going to go golfing. <laughs> so he goes golfing and for nine holes he shoots 136. <laughs> he's got completely tired of this. He said, I'm going to go to clubhouse, have a nice cocktail, have a shower, then go home. He's going to have a shower, he's going to washroom, zipper open his pants, and he's pee all down the side there. <laughs> then he goes sit on bench, you know, when you sit bench on bare naked, you know something's hanging out like that, you know? <laughs> Just as we're sitting there, two guys walking by, and this guy has got a couple of golf balls over there that he chewed up pretty bad. Just as he walked by, this other guy said to the other guy, aren't those the shittiest pair of balls you ever seen in your life? <laughs> this guy's got too much already. Too much. He goes home, the kids are screaming house like a mess you've never seen before, supper not ready, newspaper torn up by the dog. He said, Jesus Christ, what the hell are you doing, woman? Why you don't got supper ready? How come nothing's done around this place? Looks like pigsty. She say, you don't give me no never mind. I so busy around this place, I don't even got time to wipe my ass. <laughs> and he say, and that's another thing I want to talk to you about. <laughs> that's for sure. Son of a gun. <laughs> One of my friends he has got so much trouble with his shraka, don't know what to do. You know what shraka means? That means, uh, you know, here, you know? He has got pile hang, but like my brother over there, like Danny Purcell. He could hardly walk, just go like this, little bits all the time, you know? <laughs> He's go to doctor, doctor put him over the table, look good. He say, well, Peter, you got a hell of a case hemorrhoid. What I gonna do, give you this suppository, you go home, use one every six hours. 
But he's a little bit cucurigo to the head. He don't know what minute suppository. He don't want to say nothing because he think doctor think he's foolish. So he's go home, he say to his wife, Honey, what's mean in this suppository? <laughs> she says, No, what doctor told you? He say, Use one every six hours. So for whole week, every six hours, he swallow one of these goddamn things with glass water. Come Monday, he could hardly move it, just like that. <clears throat> <clears throat> he's get to half ton truck, he's got put in your tube, you know? <laughs> just drive to doctor office first gear. <laughs> he's get to doctor office, doctor says, well, Peter, how's your hemorrhoids? He says, geez, they killed me. <laughs> Here, come to my eye. He said, don't you use the suppository I give you? He said, those goddamn things, for all the good they did me, I could have shoved them up my ass. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> you ever seen nothing like that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I finally got you laughing, you son of a gun. <laughs> I thought you were sitting there making number two. You were... <clears throat> That's okay, though. <laughs> Another one, my friend, you know, he has got his mama's little boy. She never let him do nothing. Finally, they got big marriage wagon wheel. Son of a gun. 6,000 people there. He thought the kula make everything. Nice dance, pierogi. Jeez, I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> mm. <laughs> they go to motel room. He never been with woman, not one time in his life. Never even see his sister in that room. <laughs> they was late in bed, he says, you know, sweetheart, you know, I never seen women's privates before. He says, think maybe I could give it a look? <laughs> she says, why not? It's 50-50, we're married, aren't we? <laughs> He's go down, he reached to the bed lamp, turn on the bulb, son McGann is burnt out. <laughs> But you know, this Ukrainian guy not so dumb like you think, you know. Not dumb like Polish. <laughs> he's reaching to bed lamp and he's take match and he's get down and he's look there and he's look and he's look. He says, honest to goodness, sweetheart, I couldn't believe it. He says, confidentially, between you and me and the get post, tell me. Can you pee through all those hairs? <laughs> she said, of course I can. Why you ask such a stupid question? He says, well, you better start peeing because they're on fire. <laughs> That's for sure, yeah. Hey, how many people here are Ukrainian? Put your hand up! Don't be afraid to admit you're Ukrainian. Everybody should own one. What the hell? <laughs> son of a gun. You're cute, son of a gun. You know, I know a couple Ukrainian guys that was go to hunt in jungle. One guy, he's got at last. Never had any water, nothing to eat for three days. He's come to this village, he see this meat market. They got Scotchman, dollar thirty-three cents pound. Irishman, two dollar forty-nine cents pound. Englishman, five dollar sixty-three cents pound. Jews, dollar ninety-eight. <laughs> Ukrainian, forty-four dollar ninety-seven cents pound. He said to butcher, how come such heavy extra expense for Ukrainian? Butcher looked to him and said, huh, you ever tried to clean one of them bastards? <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> uh, Another guy, he was going to go bear hunting. Yorkton, Saskatchewan. You know where Yorkton is? It? Uh, that's good, Nashaluji. 
He's got Indian guy, then the God puts no shoes on, got some kubasa, some tobacco, some home brew it. Go have a hell of a good time. Indian, he say, listen, I'm going to show you how to hunt bear. They walk to cave, this Indian, he's put his head in cave, he go, Ooh. Don't got no answer. Walk a little bit more, put head in cave again, go, Ooh. Boom, 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 boom. Don't got no answer. Walk another one, give it a, Ooh. 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 Pretty soon come answer, Ooh. Ooh. He say, you wait here, I'm going to be back a couple minutes. Now my friend, he's wait out there for six and a half hours. <laughs> he's run out of kubasa, don't got no more haruko, no more tobacco, his pile start to hurt him pretty good. <laughs> he said, what this son of a gun's doing there? <laughs> he's walked to cage and in back of cage, this Indian guy, he's got some good looking chick on the blankets, make a jiggy jiggy, pushy push, you know? Says, a hand, that's what this voo-voo's all about. So he goes out, he puts his snowshoes on again, he's run to cave, he go, Woo! Don't got no answer. <laughs> run to another cave, Woo! Don't got no answer. Run to another cave, Woo! But he soon come reply, Woo! 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 Jeez, he get all excited. He's take off all his clothes, hat, shoes, Running shoes, socks, shorts, he's running to cave, he's don't got stitch of clothes on, nothing. Next Monday morning, Yorkton Enterprise got a big headline. Bare naked Ukrainian killed by freight train. <laughs> I never see it like that, you know? <laughs> Listen, I gotta tell you some more. Ukrainian army, tough army. You don't got hardly anything to eat, nothing to drink, got to fight all the time, but worse like anything, you don't got change shorts for whole year. <laughs> Not bad in summertime because you could move around a little bit, you know? But winter get pretty hard and crusty, you hard to dodge those Polish bullets, let me tell you. <laughs> Monday, Captain come and say, fellas, we got it some good news, we got some bad news. What do you want to hear first? Say, give us good news. Say, today everybody going to be changing shorts. All the smokes, everybody's dance, do cool and make a pass around frozen kubas, I have hell of a good time. <laughs> say, what's bad news? Say, bad news is, John, you're going to change shorts with Louis, Louis with Mike, Mike with Peter, Peter with John. <laughs> you like that, eh? You were in the same predicaments, eh? <laughs> you know, one time... Yes, sir. No, I don't drink Coca-Cola. It does ruin my stomachs. No, no, honest to God. No, don't, don't. No, thank you very much. I don't know what to do with my hands here anymore. Poor... <laughs> Hudson be a rum, son of a gun. But anyway, you know, this one guy, he was going around Yorkton, Shiho, traveling the town around to see what's happening. Pretty soon he's driving his half-ton truck, and he's got to go to the bathroom. So he's go to the farm and he say, listen, mister, could I use your facility? He says, sure, go ahead, what the hell? In the back of the house. So he's go to the back of the house, his open door is two holder. And there is one guy, he sit there like that. He said, come in, come in, don't be worried, what the hell. So he's go down there, he's pull his pants, sit down there, start to do his business. Fella said, kind of cold. So yeah, pretty breezy, son of a gun. Say, I think the cold weather going to hurt the corn. He said, well, if it was asparagus, I wouldn't give a shit. But corn I happen to like, you know. He say, you from around these parts? He say, if you don't mind, I don't feel too chatty. <laughs> the guy say, okay. He's get up, he start to pull up his pants. Pretty soon, ting, 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 couple piece change, fall down hole. <laughs> this guy reach into his pocket, he take out $20 bill and he throw it down hole. <laughs> Friend say, what the hell you throw that $20 bill down the hole for? You crazy? <laughs> he say, you don't think I'm going to go down there for 35 cents, do you? <laughs>
couple of guys, they was go hunting, and this one guy, he's pretty fidgety, you know. He don't know what to do it. So my friend said, what's the matter with you? He said, well, he said, I got to go to the bathroom. Got to do number two. It. He said, well, go to Bush. He said, I don't got no paper. He says, use dollar bill. What the hell's matter with you? So he says, good idea. He's come back about ten minutes later. Let me tell you, people, this guy, he has just one big mess. He's covered with caca between his finger, got on his shoulder and on his elbow, underneath his fingernail. Friend says, what the hell happened to you? Says, you son of a gun. He says, you ever tried to wipe your ass with three quarters, two dimes and a nickel? <laughs> we got one guy from Vagorville. He's coming home from Korean War. He's got a bunch of souvenirs to his knapsack, you know. And he's got a bunch of souvenirs and he's got some, make big party, homecoming party, everybody's there, aunties, uncle, cousin, every neighbor, everybody, got hell of a home brew, pierogi, kubasa, everything, nice, good. Pretty soon, grandpa, he's got to go to the toilet, you know, but he doesn't want to make no never mind, so he's go to one in bush, way out in there, you know. <laughs> he sit down doing his business, somebody said, Peter, what's that damn thing, it looks like small pineapple. He said, that's heavy danger, heavy danger. He said, you put that to your teeth, pull that pin and throw it, make a big explosion, kill 20, 30 people. He said, I don't believe it. <laughs> he said, show me. He said, all right, I'm going to show you. By this time, he's had too much horuku, he's pretty drunk it. <laughs> he's take that thing and he's put to his teeth and he throw this damn thing and he's miss his aim and it land right beside outhouse. Jesus, it's make a big explosion and the leaves and branch fall from tree, the shit house in smithereen. <laughs> Grandpa, he come out with his pants around the ankle and he said, Jesus Christ, it's a good thing I didn't let that one go in the kitchen, huh? <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. You're beautiful. Love you. You're beautiful. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to keep telling. Thank you. There's one Ukrainian guy, his own apartment house. His vacuum, you know, with diesel broom cleaner, all of a sudden you hear, help, 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 help. He's run to check every door, son of a gun, nothing's happening. Finally, one door open, he's run, nobody in living room. Help, help! He figures somebody's got killed in bedroom. He run to kitchen, grab a butcher knife, run to bedroom. Here is chick lying on bed, she's having baby. <laughs> he's a mister, help me, I don't know what to do. You grab the head, I'm gonna push you, pull, let's see what's going to happen. He's get down there and he's pulling, she's mm, pushing, he's pulling, she's... Push. Pretty soon baby fall right in hand. But it's don't say one damn thing. She's got heavy extra excited. She say, mister, mister, spank it, spank it. He grab the baby by the feet and he give it. <coughs> you son of a gun, don't you ever go in there again. <laughs> That's gonna happen. Thank you. you know, <laughs> we got we got a place, you know, in Saskatchewan is called Musha. They are having great community minded. <laughs> and they were going to put on opera. They're going to do the opera Aida by Verdi. But they come to the dead scene, they don't know what to do. Because this guy's got to stab at this woman and she's got to look authentic to kill it, you know? So one guy, he's got a brainwave. He said, we're going to put hot water bottle there, fill it with ketchups. We're going to put a little bit of pin on your sword and when you stick it in there, rip it. That ketchup's going to run all over her white dress. She's going to fall down dead. It's going to be perfect. Jeez, they sell about 5,000 tickets. Musha Adatorium's gem it packed. 
One Ukrainian guy, he's drink pretty good up in back row, you know. It's come time for final scene. Now they start to fight. She's got to give him some lips. She start to sing. Give him shit like you never seen before. He's going to she give him back. He's giving back. Take his knife, stab her, catch a brown on the front of the desk. She's fall down. He's realized what he's do, and he start to sing in real sad voice. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> this drunk Ukrainian in the back row, he say, What you done? <laughs> what you done, you son of a bitch? I tell you what you done. You just killed the best piece of ass in Mushka. That's what you done. <laughs> Listen. My girlfriend, she's waiting half ton truck, you know, we're going to go out and make lots of fun. But before I go, you beautiful people, I like to tell you about Mrs. Jobchishin. She's in hospital, so she's got a beautiful baby. It's come time to feed baby, nurse bring baby, she take one chich guy out, put in baby's mouth. Start to sing nice Ukrainian lullaby. <laughs> She's looked at this baby, something peculiar to him. Couldn't figure to her capusta, what the hell. <laughs> Finally she realized, look at my babies don't got no eyelids. <laughs> she get heavy, extra excited. She called to nurse, nurse called to doctor. Doctor come over and say, what's wrong, Mrs. Jobchishin? She said, look to my baby, what are we going to do with this? Don't got it some eyelids. How are we going to drive combine? That's going to get to his eye. Can't look to son, what are we going to do with it? She said, don't worry, Mrs. Jobchishin, you lucky woman. You happen to be got it, boy, baby. What are we going to do? <laughs> Circumcise him little bits. We're going to take that skin and we're going to put one eyelid over here and another eyelid over there. Now she scratched her capusta and she said, you know, doctor, that's not a bad idea. But it's not going to make him look a little bit cockeyed. Hey, say, Mrs. Jobchishin, don't you worry, it's going to make him look cockeyed. Look all the foresight he's going to have. It. Thank you very much. You beautiful people are going to see you again sometime. Thank you. Bye-bye. Lovely. Thank you very much. Take a drink on it when you get a chance. That is courtesy of uh, Ken Locke and the in staff. We were going to pour it right into the boot and have you drink out of there, but uh, we didn't think that appropriate. Look, I want to thank Don is here at the last minute request from uh, one of our biggest snow golf boosters, Don Purcell of Midtown Securities. Don, thank you. Don asked from Edmonton a very special snow golf. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you.